Internet computer versus Filecoin. How do they compare for data storage? So to answer the very, very simplest question here, which is which one's cheaper? Well, that's going to be Filecoin. Internet computer, it's going to cost you $5 per gigabyte per year to store data on the internet computer blockchain. Now, the difference is beyond price take a bit longer to explain. However, just to give you a super quick, simple example of a possible price point that a person or business might be paying to store data with Filecoin, you can see here that an article from CoinGecko is saying that one terabyte would cost about 19 cents a month. Filecoin is a cryptocurrency that uses IPFS for a decentralized data storage solution. IPFS itself is a DAG. A DAG is a directed acyclic graph, which is part of the overall umbrella that blockchain technology belongs to, which is DLT, DLT being distributed ledger technology. Filecoin is a cryptocurrency for data storage, which utilizes IPFS. IPFS or interplanetary file system is a internet protocol initially designed by Juan Bennett in 2014. And they had the goal of storing data permanently, remove duplications across the network and obtain addresses to information stored on network computers. It is now an open source project. And unlike HTTP, it is a resource, not location oriented service. Instead of communicating by pointing to locations, IPFS points to the resource itself. IPFS then gets this resource from whoever has the data or parts of the data stored, creating a decentralized network. If you're interested to read this whole article, it is available over at Medium dot com. IPFS uses transport encryption, but not content encryption. This means that your data is secure when being sent from one IPFS node to another. However, anyone can download and view that data if they have the CID. The lack of content encryption is an intentional decision. Instead of forcing you to use a particular encryption protocol, you are free to choose whichever method is best for your project. This modular design keeps IPFS lightweight and free of vendor lock-in. And so to be a little bit more clear, there's a difference between, say, encrypting your hard drive on your personal computer and having your connection to the internet being encrypted. So one, having your hard drive on your computer encrypted, that would be like having content encryption. Whereas having your connection between your computer and the internet being encrypted, that would be transport encryption. IPFS is primarily for storing immutable data. However, that's obviously not going to be a solution for everybody's needs. There are ways of actually storing mutable data on IPFS as well, which this article goes into further detail about, which involves building Merkle trees. One way some businesses might choose to use Filecoin would be to use an MSP, which is a managed service provider or similar business, to help them interface and, and use Filecoin. DStore is an example of a business that does just that. You'll see some businesses that are listed on DStore's website saying that they store data for Berkeley, which, which is a university here in California, the University of Utah, CERN, Solana, OpenSea, LabDAO, and some others, including Internet Archive, which is the Wayback Machine. And we see again here some of those businesses as well as a few others listed. And DStore is saying that they have a total of 1,889 clients. And those clients are using decentralized storage provided by Filecoin, which in turn uses IPFS. And you'll see here that DStore says, you know, blockchain-based storage simplified, which I'm kind of torn on how I feel about statements like that because blockchain is a DLT and a DAG is a DLT, but a DAG is not a blockchain. Filecoin is a blockchain, but you don't store data on the Filecoin blockchain. Filecoin uses IPFS, which in turn is a DAG and it is decentralized storage. 
but it's not a blockchain. Now, if you're wondering, you know, like, what is the point of Filecoin? Why not just use IPFS? Well, IPFS itself doesn't have anything to incentivize storage providers or retrieval providers to take part because IPFS is not something, it's not a cryptocurrency. It doesn't have a coin. It doesn't have a token. So Filecoin is a blockchain with a cryptocurrency and storage providers and retrieval providers can get paid in Filecoin, which they can then sell for fiat or trade for some other crypto or hold Filecoin if they wanted to. So Filecoin provides value to IPFS by incentivizing people to participate in the IPFS network. IPFS provides value to Filecoin by providing the means of actually facilitating the data storage. Now, although internet computer on blockchain data storage is more expensive, in fact, it's quite a bit more expensive at $5 per gigabyte per year, there are likely use cases where a development team may prefer to keep the data on chain. And with internet computer, that's at least an option, like a viable option. If you were to do something like this on, say, Ethereum, it would cost tremendously more than $5 per gigabyte per year. The point is other blockchains or most other blockchains, they can't actually do everything that internet computer can do. So when comparing internet computer to Filecoin, we're really just talking about data storage. So if, you're, if your only concern is what is the cheapest way to store data in a decentralized solution and you're comparing internet computer with Filecoin, then Filecoin wins because Filecoin's a lot less money. However, if you have other considerations for that data that Filecoin may not be ideal for, or if you just want to simplify things, like let's say you only have, you know, five gigabytes of storage that you need in the first place, that's going to cost you $25 a year as a developer, right? So that's not, that's not exactly earth shattering amounts of money. Even if you could do the same thing with Filecoin and let's say you end up spending, you know, 10 cents a year or something far less. That is, from a percentage standpoint, that is a huge difference. It may not be enough of an incentive to just immediately say, well, we're not going to use ICP data storage. The other thing is we're not really comparing apples to apples here. Internet computer can do a lot more than Filecoin. All Filecoin is doing is providing tokenization to IPFS. And all of that is doing is providing decentralized data storage, which is not on a blockchain. It is being tracked and incentivized by a blockchain, which is Filecoin. But the data is through IPFS, which is a DAG, and a DAG is not a blockchain. Internet computer can do things like host a large language model, AI, 100% on chain and run it. You can't do that with Filecoin because Filecoin doesn't offer compute. So that all said, when it comes right down to it, Filecoin's cheaper. If that's your only concern as a developer, then, well, I guess you'd probably be using Filecoin. When it comes to what crypto you should buy, it depends on what you're looking for. I think that internet computer and Filecoin could quite possibly have similar gains from today's prices in the 2024, 2025 crypto bull run. But if you're looking for getting in early on something similar to Bitcoin or Ethereum, then you should be looking at internet computer.